Look, today's the day. It's in the back. I'll go get it. What's he getting? A Direct Connect 300 baud modem. How much? Don't worry, I'm using my allowance. Plus, Clark gave me a healthy discount for helping with his application to medical school. Okay. What's a modem do? It allows me to connect my computer to other computers that also have one. Why would you need to do that? So I can share my scientific ideas with academics all over the world. It's like the cybernetic version of the Algonquin Roundtable. I don't know what that means. That's okay. You're still my dad and I'm genetically obligated to love you. Ooh, someone responded to a theory I posted on the physics bulletin board. He called my work flawed. That's rude. Let him know he can't push you around. That's why I did a baseball practice. I'd rather not resort to name calling. It usually gets me stuffed somewhere uncomfortable. That's in person, where people know you're pathetic and weak. That's true. This is completely anonymous. I can say whatever I want without fear of physical retaliation. Thanks. And on that day, my sister created the first internet flame war. That is as cruel as it is grammatical. And send. It's just so easy. All you do is type in the Usenet address, sci dot theory dot physics dot research dot quantum press enter and it comes right up careful in war games matthew broderick almost blew up the wall the only thing I'm going to be blowing up is this fellow's flimsy argument. That was one of my classic jokes. Feel free to laugh. See? Like magic. <gasps> well, I never. Hello? I'm having a scientific argument with someone, and I need your help. I do love a good science fight. Has it devolved to name-calling yet? Yes, I called him a Pongo Pygmius. Ho oh, ho! A Bornean orangutan. That is a creature who would be very bad at science. Well done. I know. So how can I help? I posted a theory on the collapse of wave function. We've been arguing back and forth, and he's saying that my probabilities come out negative. Mm, I see. Have you considered that negative probabilities can still have meaning? Ooh, I hadn't. That suggests another idea. I can argue that negative probabilities only show up in intermediate steps. I'm going to destroy him with this. And when you do, feel free to call him a scarabaeus vietii, a dung beetle. Oh, I so admired your mind. Back at you, little man. Thanks to Dr. Sturgis, I had all the intellectual ammunition I needed to bring my opponent to his knees. I accused him of conflating two different interpretations of quantum theory, woefully misrepresenting Paul Dirac, and when I called him a dung beetle in Latin, I was so riled up, I almost started producing testosterone. Ooh, the long-awaited rebuttal. While I still believe my theory has merit, I will concede that your point has some validity. My point has some validity. My point has some validity! Yes! That day, both my sister and I emerged victorious from savage battles. Hers fought with fists, mine with words. What does my point have? Some validity! Although we were both pretty sore the next day. Bye.